Imagine an expanse so vast, so full of life and secrets, that it covers over 70% of our planet. The ocean, ladies and gentlemen, is not just a part of Earth, it is Earth's beating heart. Now, I'm going to tell you something that might stir your soul. Every day, our oceans are under attack, from plastic pollution to oil spills and destructive fishing practices. These aren't just mistakes, these are acts that could be seen as cardinal sins against nature. Why cardinal sins, you ask? Because the ocean is the cornerstone of our planet's biodiversity. It regulates our climate, houses millions of species, and supports human life by providing food and oxygen. To harm the ocean is to harm ourselves. But here's where we find hope. Across the globe, young minds like yours are standing up, making changes, and showing that we can reverse these damages. Whether it's reducing plastic use, supporting sustainable seafood, or advocating for marine protected areas, every action counts. So as we move forward, let's ask ourselves, are we part of the problem or are we part of the solution? Because healing our oceans isn't just an environmental challenge, it's a moral imperative. Let's not be the generation that allowed the heart of our planet to stop beating. Let's be the generation that brought it back to life. Together, we can correct these wrongs. We can turn what some may call the ultimate sin into our greatest redemption story. Will you join me in this crucial mission?